tired of being discouraged and disheartened by the culture? Does your spiritual life need some fresh air? Well, how about fresh air for your soul and an ocean breeze for the body? Join Michael Voris and Father Z of the world-renowned Catholic blog, What Does the Prayer Really Say? on a Lenten retreat at sea. This seven-day trip is the perfect opportunity for couples and singles to strengthen their faith and clear their minds. Find out more by clicking on the attached link or call 805-526-6565. Also, be sure to check out our Facebook event page where those who already signed up can introduce themselves. Hello, I'm Michael Miller. Rebecca is off today. Here are your latest headlines from churchmilitant.tv news. In a surprising statement, a Vatican official said that while he does not support same-sex marriage, he wants civil partnerships for de facto and homosexual couples. The statement, which appeared in yesterday's edition of an Italian newspaper, is in direct contradiction with Catholic tradition and recent statements by our Holy Father. Former Boy Scout leader David Watkins has been charged on Monday by a grand jury for forcibly sodomizing a child under the age of 13. The Boy Scouts of America, who have been considering a removal of the ban of homosexual scout and troop leaders, announced today that they've put off a vote on the issue until May. Yesterday evening, Obama told NARAL in a videotaped address that he celebrates the Roe v. Wade decision which has resulted in the destruction of over 55 million innocent children. In his message, Obama thanked outgoing NARAL President Nancy Keenan and welcomed new President Elise Hoag, who stated that the right to abortion is, quote, foundational to every other thing we want to achieve for ourselves, our families, and our country, end quote. It has been discovered that abortion services may be provided at the Catholic Health Initiative Hospital in Colorado the same hospital that was recently involved in a scandal for denying the personhood of the unborn child. A woman who received care from Catholic Health Initiative after suffering a miscarriage received a bill for an elective abortion, which she'd never had. In addition, one of the Catholic Health Initiative's ethics board members is longtime abortionist Richard Grossman. Three churches in Wilmington, Massachusetts were vandalized over the weekend, two of which were Catholic. The vandals defaced St. Thomas of Villanova and St. Dorothy, along with the local congregational church early Saturday morning, with the words, brainwashing, spray-painted on church property, appearing to attack the church's religious beliefs. And finally, the Illinois Family Institute is hosting a Preserve Marriage Lobby Day on February 20th at the Capitol Building in Springfield. This event is being held in response to serious concerns that Illinois is on the fast track to legalizing same-sex marriage. As one of the bill's sponsors has stated that the issue could come to a floor vote as soon as Valentine's Day. I'm Michael Miller. Those are your headlines from churchmilitant.tv. Make sure you check out today's Vortex, where Michael reflects on why faithful Catholics seem to be the last consideration with a number of bishops. Thanks for tuning in today. Spread the word about us to your friends, and may God bless you. Sick of TV and its cultural rot? Tune in to churchmilitant.tv and become a premium subscriber, where you will get access to fresh shows with solid church doctrine. As a premium subscriber, you'll get hundreds of hours of programming, which includes investigative shows, catechesis, apologetics, church history lessons, and a lot more. What are you waiting for? Forget the bad television and dive into the riches of the Catholic faith for only $10 a month.